Hi everyone, let's review the four lines, um, the five, six, seven, eight, and then we, uh, we find the application that we can practice. The, the, these four lines here are very critical to the practice of beginners. First of all, it said that we need to be truthful, be honest, be open, and be reliable. Reliable in dealing with people. When we start our practice like this, then in relation to others, we slowly, slowly understand that everything we do has to occur to cause and effect. The more we get into um, emotional relationship, meaning uh, we start to look at people's fault, look at people's mistake, start to gossip, start to talk right and wrong, start to argue, all of that. Suddenly, it becomes turmoil in our emotion. But if we do everything with the truthfulness, with openness, with reliability, with integrity, then everything seems to flow. And when it flow, the emotional patterns now become regulated and harmony. As it becomes harmonious, what happens is we, we don't need to do anything, but the energy comes back to its own original place. Now, that is a very critical point because sometimes we try our practice, we try to sit in meditation, but in our daily dealings, we are not really follow the path of truthfulness and openness. Now, the practical applications of, of these four lines is to tell us to uh, work on our vitality, our energy, and our spirit. And how do we work on these three things? In order to work on the vitality, we need to understand that the root of this vitality is, is within our kidney system, and that is manifest in our ears. And therefore, the first thing we learn is learning to manage our hearing. What does that mean? That means we don't need to spend time to listen to things that is useless. Uh, sometimes we listen to radio, we listen to all kind of talks, we completely let ourselves our flows into all the nonsensical subjects. So we want to listen to the meaningful things, but more than that, we listen to ourselves, listen to the deep, deep message that our, our souls uh, present. And then we listen to the people, we listen to their emotional, their motivation, their intention to their suffering. We listen deeply into people's hearts. So people can say about a lot of things, about all kinds of things, but we don't need to get stuck on those things. But we need to listen to their intention and their motivation and their suffering and their needs. Once we learn to listen to that, we, we start to refine our hearing, and then as we do that, at the same time we want to listen to ourselves, because the inside and outside are reflecting each other. So we listen deeply, deeply into our spirit, and we listen to our desire, our motivation, and then we listen to the silence. That's the part that never speaks, but is always present there, our conscience. We listen to our conscience, and then we start to work on the second part. This is the first one, the vitality is ears. The second part is about the, the energy. How do we um, nurture energy? The energy is rooted within our which body here. Our energy is actually is part of our, what if we say the language, we're talking about the language, the words that, that is, can uh, disperse and confuse the energy. And so the energies have to be guarded through our speech. So we're working on our, our speech, meaning uh, when we open our, our, our mouth, we have to be very careful of not talking things that create uh, reverberation, create um, turmoil in the future. If we confuse people with words, then confusion will come back to our heart. If we tell lies, then the lies will come back to our mind. If we cheat people, then those cheating words will go right back to our, our thoughts. 
And therefore we want to be truthful in our words and we want to say things that is really meaningful, but at the same time it expression of our love and our, our care. And so words had to be used, but we don't want to be led by words. Sometimes our emotion run really high and then we speak and we curse and we become profane, all that. Those words are no longer um, be used, but the words use ourselves and use our spirit and use, use up our mind and our energy as well. And therefore, we need to guard our energy by guarding our speech and, and speak with the intention to bring out our goodness, speak to bring our love from people's heart, speak in order to clarify and bring peace to the people who listen. So we work on our ears, we work on our mouth. So how do we, um, uh, we work on our spirit? So the spirit is actually rooted within our liver and then from coming out from our eyes. And therefore we need to guard our eyes. How do we guard our eyes? We need to look at people's goodness instead of finding faults and mistakes. We need to look into our souls. So if there is time, close our eyes and look into our soul. When you are meditate, we do that. I forgot to tell you that when you work on our energy, we need to curl your tongues up. Most of the time when you don't talk, you curl your tongues up. So you guard your energy, so energy can circulate. But with our eyes, we look back inside, we close our eyes, look back inside more, and look into our motivation, especially look into our darkness and our blind spots. Those are the things that we develop our awareness. The awareness will nurture our spirit, and awareness can be, can be nurtured through the way that we look into ourselves. When we look out, we can hardly nurture our spirit, and therefore it takes time for us to to nurture our spirit and develop our awareness. But when we close our eyes, it gets easier. So, to work on vitality, we got our ears. To work on our energy, we got our speech, and our words, our mouth. To work on our spirit, we got our eyes and our vision. Those are three things that can, we can practically do it now. <coughs> 